This video is about forming an image of the candle using a lens here, a convex lens, and forming it on a screen, the other side of the cardboard barrier. Now, the candle is a distance of about 30 centimeters from the screen, and we're now going to move the camera so that we can have a look at the image of the candle on the screen. And I'm going to pause the video while I move the camera. Now you can see the view from the other side. The distance of the screen from the lens is approximately 50 centimetres, as distinct from the 30 centimetres the other side. Now, various things you notice. First of all, the image of the flame is upside down. Secondly, it's in full colour. And thirdly, it's magnified. And I'm now going to put the main light out here, which will give you a much better view of it. There it is. And you'll notice that if we move the screen forwards, it goes out of focus. And if we move it back, it also goes out of focus. And if we move it to the central point about here, that is pretty good. A very nice image of the candle flame. And um, there's something that you should know. The distance between the object, that's the candle flame itself, and the image must be at least four times the focal length of the lens. Otherwise, you can't get an image. So if I left the screen here, for example, and simply moved the lens backwards and forwards, I would never get an image because the distance between the image and the object is less than four times the focal length of the lens. And um, we can calculate the focal length of this lens, in fact, because if we put the screen back in its original position like this and make the measurements, <coughs> then we take the distance of the lens from the candle which is actually about 20, 25 centimetres and the distance of the lens from the image which is about 55 centimetres I can calculate the focal length of the lens. Right, so we can now start the video where we left off again. For a start I've worked out the focal length of our lens and it's actually 17.1 centimetres which means, as I said, the shortest separation of that object and the image is going to be four times 17.1 which is just over 68 centimetres. The other thing is the magnification. Well, before the image was 55 centimeters from the lens and the object was 25 centimeters from the lens. And if you divide the image distance by the object distance, you get the magnification, which is 2.2. Now you've got a beautiful image on the screen now. And at the moment, I've altered the distances a little bit so that the distance of the object from the lens is actually hmm, well it's not far off 25 still and as I said the image is about 55 from the lens let's just check that yes it's about 56 but 55 is close enough right and I'd, I'd like to show something. If I now move the candle away from the lens quite a lot, so that the candle now is going to be approximately 55 from the lens, which is what it is now. You see, the, the lens has produced a very fuzzy image now. Let's see if we can refocus it. 
Am I moving the screen closer and closer and closer to the lens? And there, hope you can see that because it's stunning from where I am looking at it with it by my eye. This one is now a new position for the screen. So the object distance is 55 now. I wonder whether you can make a guess as to what you think this image distance is going to be. And I'm going to check that. And do you know, just make sure I've got it right here. It is almost exactly 25. So it's completely reversible. Here though, we have a smaller object dis uh, image distance, sorry, a smaller image distance than we have an object distance. And so the image is much smaller than the object. And I thought we'd finish this video with, again, a smallish object distance, giving us a large image distance and therefore a much magnified, inverted, coloured image of the candle flame on the screen. And, and you should actually, I realise, ought to know that if I tried to put the object inside the focal length of the lens, you wouldn't get an image at all. So we've set the object just outside the focal length of the lens, so it's just about 20 centimetres from the lens. And remember, the focal length of our lens was about 17.1. So there is the final image of the candle.